The outside world might be overwhelming right now. It might be really affecting your inner peace, your equilibrium, but that's exactly what's supposed to be happening. You have some choices to make right now that will impact what timeline you enter into and what your future is going to look like. We are in to the age of Aquarius. We're already seeing massive uprisings, literal governments being overthrown, all the things that we saw and figured would happen with all this a Saturn, Aquarius, rebellious energy that has to do with governmental systems. That's all happening and we can expect that to continue on. We're going to see a continuation of the way that our perception of what the world used to be for the last two years now has completely been breaking apart and society is going to continue on this trend. The old paradigm is falling. What's going to replace it? That's completely up to us, to the ones who have awakened. And we're going to see a lot more people awakening and going through this cycle of transformation where they begin to understand that everything that they thought was true isn't true. And what we thought would be our future, just because of how the past was, isn't necessarily going to be that way. What's going to replace the old paradigm? It's up to us. What I'm calling for and what I'm feeling is, uh, of course, it's so important. It is crucial for us to organize, get together and make ourselves heard and, and put ourselves out there and create connections and create new systems. But what's really important and what I feel like we're all really losing track of, especially when all these crazy things happen in the news, so much is being thrown at us. We have so much to absorb and to consume. At, at this time, in this very moment, what we really need to be doing is inner cultivation. And without that inner cultivation, we're not going to be able to access this better, newer paradigm. This new earth, really. And this is something that I've been picking up on for a long time now, and that is that the need for us to remember the importance of our individual human experience, of what's happening in, inside of us. Because what happens inside of us is going to be reflected on the outside. Right now, I feel that a lot of us are living in this fight, flight, freeze mentality in our autonomic nervous system, super activated, and we're forgetting the importance of going inwards of that stillness, that peace. Now this is actually a part of this whole plan, a part of everything happening on the outer world. What's going on in the external environment right now is meant to deter you from your personal mission. It is meant to distract you. So it's again up to us to decide, will we allow this to distract us? Will we allow ourselves to forget ourselves and to just completely be taken by the world. There's a saying, it's program or be programmed. Who's going to live your life for you? If you're like me, you potentially have been super affected by all the really violent, horrific, and, and pretty scary things that are happening in the world right now. I've been carrying it with me deeply for the last few weeks, and around this full moon, we're going to feel that even more. In fact, for the next few months, we're going to feel as if we're again in that pressure cooker. How we were in 2020, and there's going to be some sort of pressure cooker of events, maybe um, more demonstration for freedom, maybe more desire for justice and equality. We're going to return to that place, and it's going to feel like a pressure cooker. But this pressure cooker is good for you right now. So there are two things that you can be doing while you're experiencing this pressure. You could be losing yourself and resisting it, resisting it. Like, I don't want to feel this. This feels too hard. This feels, there's too much going on. I don't want to feel this. Or you can allow yourself to cook and cook slowly and gradually and observe. Observe that cooking. Observe what's happening inside of you and know that there's a reason and there's a purpose for this. 
there's some sort of transformation happening inside of you right now that is being reflected by the outside. Rather than resisting it, rather than feeling, resisting those negative emotions and those negative feelings, become curious about them. Analyze them and observe them as if you are a scientist or a researcher and you're detached from it and you're just looking like, okay, where is this going to take me? Now, what we're going to really be needing at this time is a shift in perspective and that really that detachment. And it's not like a cool standoffish detachment from what's going on in the world. It's more like, well, I have to prioritize what's happening in my inner world right now. What's going on inside of me? Because whatever is going on inside of me is going to affect that outer world and that outer reality. So a law outside is going to influence a lot inside of you, but it is up to you to decide in what way it influences it. It's also up to you to shut the door, to pull down the blinds and be like, okay, there's a lot happening that I am energy, like I'm not physically there and I can't physically be of assistance. All I can do is live my life as an example. My life can be my message. I think Gandhi said that. I can live in a way that's going to be of the, the betterment of mankind. People don't seem to realize how significant you smiling at a stranger and getting that smile back is for the energetics and the subtle energy of the world. It's these energy attunements and little by little and little by little, gradually and then all at once, that changes reality. So what you do on your individual, in your individual life is so significant, it's so crucial to this awakening that the world is going through. And I know that it doesn't seem like an awakening anymore. I know that it seems like people are more separate and not understanding of each other than ever. But believe it or not, this is still the divine plan. It's still all going according to plan. The cosmic drama is still unfolding and something is really going to come out of this. We can't give up, we can't lose hope. Because once we lose hope, we also give away our agency and we allow for potentially malevolent forces to decide what new paradigm is going to replace the old one. And that's up for us to, to decide. And it starts on your individual mission. So you're going to feel a lot of pressure in the next few months. So what can you do about this? This is the good thing. When I was tapping into all this energy and also looking at the astrological and numerological aspects of what's happening right now, it was a little bit, I felt a little bit defeated and I really kind of withdrew into myself and I was like, okay, there's a little bit of a negative energy happening here. So what now? And I asked the universe and I, I, I asked my deep self, I connected with my deep self and that deep self connects with the higher infinite intelligence all that is, right? That source consciousness, that's who's channeling this. And I said, I feel defeated. What is the message I can give today? It's, it's going to feel so disempowering if I just talk about the, the cosmological energies happening right now. And I got the answer, and the answer was that it, what's happening is not necessarily bad. Actually, nothing that happens is necessarily bad. It's the perspective that we give it. And what's going to change reality really is going to be your eyes. How you look at things. If you look at things as everything is death and destruction and burning down, that is what's going to continuously show up in the world. If we see this as a rebirth, if we see this as opportunity, you're going to see your reality shift little by little, like I was saying, gradually and then all at once, until everything is going to be solved. And I really got this message that actually really good fortune is coming for us all, especially for the ones who are willing to look at it and willing to see it. So I'm asking you to go and look outside, look within yourself and ask for messages and ask for symbolism. Ask the universe for synchronicity. Say, am I on the right path? Show me numbers, show me animals. When you see a certain animal that you haven't seen in a while, look into what that means. Don't be afraid of a cat, a black cat uh, across the road because in many cultures that means something different. Also these symbols, go within yourself or go to trusted sources to find out what they mean for you. They're really significant right now. 
I asked for symbolism and for synchronicities for the collective, for all of us, what we can expect. And what I got is that inner cultivation and releasing that pressure a little bit through things that make you happy is actually going to steer you towards the most positive, optimal timeline. No matter what it looks like outside, inside, inner cultivation is going to get you to exactly where you want to be. And you're going to see a lot of good luck coming for you. I'm getting a lot of um, good fortune, abundance, prosperity, feelings for the ones who choose to see the world with that perspective. It's actually your choice. Your choice, your word, your thoughts, that's your wand. The outer world is going to test you and it's meant to. It's meant to distract you from that reality cultivation that you are endowed with, that you are able to do. You are able to choose what's going to happen in your future. You don't need a psychic. You don't need anybody to tell you it's your decision. And that decision is little by little by little. Are you going to go on Twitter like I tend to do sometimes and see all the bad that's happening in the world and think, okay, well, doom and all this negative stuff is going to happen. What's the point of anything? Or are you going to shut off that stream of distraction and negative information and come back to yourself? Come back to that inner balanced place of heart-centered knowing. Knowing that everything is going according to plan, everything was going to be okay, and you can control reality and your experience with reality when you return here, when you go inside, and then listen to that deep self and see where it takes you. I also picked up that during this time, the really important for us to start to rely more on ourselves, our immediate support system, and our friends and family if we are able to, if we have that kind of system, rather than relying on a government, a big brother, somebody else taking care of you, somebody that doesn't know you taking care of you. It's time to return to community. It's time to create stronger connections in your life. That could be online. That doesn't necessarily have to be in person, but it's very important to cultivate that spirit, soul, family right now. When it comes to warnings, around the full moon, I recommend lowering alcohol consumption if you can potentially just not drink around the full moon and lower your caffeine consumption right now. It's going to really allow you to kind of turn on the parasympathetic nervous system, not really be in that, in that autonomic nervous system all day long. And it's going to bring you back to yourself. We want to avoid being impulsive. There's going to be desire to make impulsive decisions these will not end up so good for us. There's a difference between being impulsive and listening to your intuition and acting on your intuition. Remember that intuition is graceful, quiet, strong, while the ego, fear, uh, impulse really comes from this anxious place. The overall message that I want to share for this happening right here is if you're feeling like under so much pressure, if you're overwhelmed by everything happening in the world or in your inner life, that's normal. Do whatever you can to release pressure right now. Go on walks, deep breathing right now. Deep belly breaths, always through the nose, in and out through the nose. The nose is meant for breathing. That's going to save us right now, okay? It's going to release that pressure. When you move the scope of attention away from the outer world, from all the negative and back to yourself, this is going to allow for a lot of spiritual growth. You're going to see a lot of expansion in your life, especially in relation to your spiritual growth, to your mental capacities and your mental health. The outside world might be overwhelming. It might be really affecting your inner peace, your equilibrium but that's exactly what's supposed to be happening. You have some choices to make that will impact what timeline you enter into and what your future is going to look like.